So I can see sickness, I can see poverty, I can see failure. Even if I cannot do anything about it, the first message of hope is that it can change. Listen, it is dangerous to be in a situation where you know nothing can be done about it. So the, he, leave how it will change, leave including what you have written, that there is a certain condition. Listen. Please pay attention. I want you to really understand this. That means conditions sponsor transformation. Now, if you're not science-based, I apologize. But science, physics teaches us that matter can change states. Is that true? An example is water. You can have water in three states. It is still water, but there is a condition. The condition that makes for ice, if it remains, ice will remain ice forever. But that you can actually change the condition. You don't need to touch the water. Just change the condition and it can change its state. That means that if your situation remains the way it is, it is because there is a condition that makes it conducive. Now, the assignment of the power of God is not just to touch the situation but to create another atmosphere you see now conditions change outcomes you have to understand this conditions when a condition is set outcomes can change very very powerful medicine or different fields of science teach us when they give you an injection you have malaria or you have whatever it is when the doctors give you an injection what are they doing they are not merely passing a liquid into your body no no those they listen research institutes all over the world spend days and spend millions studying conditions that's what they do they study the conditions that make certain organisms thrive in a human body they study certain conditions that make society remain the way it is so we invest a, a research is merely a, a scientific process or is a sociological process that studies conditions because that true please pay attention so malaria has a condition there are times that we say there's flu in the air what do we mean that for some reason the atmosphere has made the condition conducive for these organisms you don't have to believe in them they will look for you because the condition is right is that true and you find out that people are having flu or maybe an outbreak of some sort of sickness within an environment and then if the atmosphere changes and the conditions change either that sickness that organism will go or something else will happen so conditions are very significant everything depends on conditions everything so when doctors and research experts have spent years decades even centuries studying the human body for instance and studying the conditions that become conducive for certain sicknesses certain illnesses and it is based on the knowledge of those conditions they have designed drugs is that true they have designed all kinds of things so that when they inject it to your body what does the drug do the drug does not speak the drug does not think but the drug was programmed when it enters your body what happens it begins to alter the condition that makes that organism conducive there that's what begins to happen very very powerful there is a condition that keeps poverty conducive there is a condition that keeps sickness there is a condition that keeps failure that keeps retrogression is that true yeah 
And once that condition changes, I'm explaining to you what Paul is saying. That your focus should not just be on outcomes. Every outcome is dependent on conditions. So if an individual cannot walk, we create a name for that condition. Is that true? We call it lameness or we say he's paralyzed. And then we try to create a way of remedying or at least supplementing for that condition. There are times that the condition will get so bad, maybe there's an organ failure. They may even have to fly you out of the country. Why do they fly you? Because of a condition. So when you say something is wrong with a man, you are simply saying there is a condition that has been introduced to your life. Are we together now? Wow. Why do you call a sinner a sinner? A sinner is not a sinner because of his body, not because of his color. There is a spiritual condition that that person is in. When the person gets saved, what is salvation? You have changed the condition of that person too. Is that true? This is powerful conditions. The reality of the fact, I'm drumming something in your mind tonight that everything can change under specific conditions. Science has postulated all kinds of theories. They have told us scientifically speaking that everything is made up largely of energy and matter. Is that true? expressed in time this is it the forms of expression may change but intrinsically science has succeeded in telling us that everything is energy matter expressed in time that is it if that is true it also means that everything is connected to everything because if they come out from the same origin it means there is a condition the possibility of transformation should exist listen very carefully to what I'm trying to teach you watch this if a growth begins to come out of my body here the mass that increases it does it come outside of me where did that swelling come from If the mass goes down, where did it go to? I'm not talking about a surgical procedure that removed it. That you have a boil or something. Let's use a boil. And then a doctor gives you an injection. And you keep watching and it keeps going down, going down, going down right or maybe you have a sprain or something and then your leg increases in size why did the increase happen what was responsible for the increase and now it went down so science the the two the two authorities that help us in knowledge is faith and science and both of them agree that under certain conditions things can change is that true do you agree with me so I drop a potato on the ground and I create a condition and I return back after a few days. What do I see? The potato begins to grow because the condition was made. If I do not want that potato to grow, I don't need to hurt the potato. I need to study the condition that fights growth and creates that condition. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when he says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. The word temporal means subject to change. Not under every condition. Under specific conditions. What does it mean? Listen, human beings are largely victims of conditions. What does it mean to be cursed? Look at this. Come. If I say I cursed this gentleman, what did I do? Did I, did I remove his clothes? Did I change his name? Did I change his complexion? What did I do? I programmed a condition. 
and we call that condition a cause. Are, are you getting this now? So this man is working physically, but he's under the influence of a condition. And this condition has been authorized to make certain things happen and certain things not happen. So anything that is evil and can destroy him, the condition has been programmed to call it and welcome it. Anything that can bless him, the condition has been created to drive it away. So we found a name for that condition. Bad luck, he is cursed or whatever it is. So if I bless him, did I change the color of his skin? Did I change his name? Did I change his speech? I introduced a condition. Programmed in that condition is the ability to drive certain things. Programmed in that condition is the ability to attract certain things. We, all of the names that we call good things are simply ways of identifying conditions. What is favor? A condition where pleasantness, the help of men come to you. Listen, if you know this, then you really understand the assignment of the word of God. Because when the word of God begins to work with the anointing, let me tell you what they do. The first thing the word of God in partnership with the anointing does is to scan the conditions of a man's life. Because it knows that every outcome, this family is not moving forward, they are not going forward. It's not so much about the devil. Demons are also experts in creating conditions. When they create those conditions, they defend those conditions to make sure that the victim remains in that state. Are you following so far? So transformation only happens when you create the enabling conditions. The enabling conditions. For instance, there are children that when you give birth to, after a few years, they don't grow normally, for instance, there is a name given to that condition. Is that true? Because ordinarily a child should grow. So the doctors begin to investigate what could be wrong. Then they will find out that something is malfunctioning in that child's life. If they have the wherewithal, intellectually and financially, they can correct or manage that condition. Now, scientifically speaking, when, when doctors look at a patient... I'm using medicine since it's applicable to all. When doctors look at a patient and say, sorry, we cannot do anything about your situation. What are they trying to say? That means we are limited in this art of creating conditions for health. We have done our best through the studies that we have received. But this situation right now, we know that it can change under a certain condition. But we are yet to properly put in place the condition that changes that situation. What is education? Education is creating a condition that makes for enlightenment. Is that true? When you submit students and help them and teach them across a field of study or a, bo a body of knowledge. So when enabling conditions are created transformations begin to occur there are times that agriculturists have to come and study a soil is that true and they teach us in agri that there are different kinds of soils even the Bible attests to the fact that there are different kinds of soils that when a sower sows as powerful as the seed is the seed requires certain kinds of soils. Hmm. Conditions. Now, very quickly, please pay attention. The Bible lets us know that principally speaking, the agency that is responsible for creating or altering conditions are words. Follow my discourse. We're about to pray. So, he gives us the Bible now. Let's us know 
that no word is empty that words are not just speakings in the air is that true that every word spoken by men animals beasts it carries a level of energy in it let me use that expression or power as you may say every word regardless who and where it came from once it is a word it carries a measure of energy and there are certain conditions it can change hmm. two scriptures proverbs 18 21 the lord is helping us see when you understand what i'm teaching you will understand the dynamics of miracles and the supernatural and supernatural manifestations let's read together please one to read it says death and life are in the power of the tongue uh-huh and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof one more time please death and life are in the power of the tongue hold on it never said the power of the human tongue it never said the power of the believers tongue provided there is communication there is a release of a certain degree of energy the only thing is that sometimes the energy may not be sufficient to provide the transformation needed so if a man speaks there is something that word can do there are other things it cannot do there is no word spoken that is barren matthew chapter 12 and verse 37 this is from the lips of the master himself matthew 12 and 37 koinonia if you can see it, let's read together one to read for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words one more time for by thy words and by thy words that means all words carry a certain degree of energy how does a judge vindicate someone does the judge come and hold him the judge sits down in that position and makes a decree just one word you are acquitted or you are guilty somebody can literally be sentenced to death who is 10 times stronger than the person who is speaking but one word you are hereby sentenced to 30 years in prison and for the next 30 years you will not have the opportunity to see the world as you know it again because the word not from God not from a spirit the word from a man backed up by an institution have been brought before the court of law and one word coming from a judge accredited the moment the judge speaks judge has not spoken they are there but they will not do anything and the judge strikes that hammer and makes a statement one statement and that's it someone is on his way to prison and you will remain there even if reason and by any means they want to bring you out of there nobody would just come and open the prison and bring you out it would take somebody to creating a condition they will have to examine the facts around your life lawyers am i speaking correctly you say let's look at this case again there must be a loophole and you find a loophole connect it with something the constitution says and that becomes a system of amnesty and you can bring the person out words every man's condition remains the same until words come into your life words change people's outcomes by changing the conditions this is very very powerful all words carry a degree of energy now watch this the principle of changing conditions or introducing the energy that changes the state of anything listen carefully they are words what then you see why the word of god is powerful the word of god is powerful because every man's word carries the power of that man a judge's power does not carry a doctor's a judge's word does not carry a doctor's power 
Is that true? A judge's word carries a judge's power. A doctor's word carries a doctor's God's word carries God's the reason why we call the words that come from God the word of God is because number one it comes from him a revelation of his thoughts but number two it is backed up with his power those who manufacture drugs when you buy um, again let me use the medical people when they are about to give you an injection almost everybody here has collected an injection in your lifetime is that true yes sir including babies if you've been alive for at least one year you would have collected some sort of injection now watch this the doctor does not just bring out his, a syringe in his pocket and give you no he will first show you there is a liquid somewhere is that true and then they have a way of cutting it and they put the syringe draw it out and then they give it to you now those who manufactured it usually will put their name or something that represents them there the injection may not come from them but they are putting their credibility is on it so they put it there and once they inject you you go knowing that that injection came from the intelligence of so 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 and so company i trust them you may forget the doctor but you may not easily forget the name like you cannot remember the name of the doctor who gave you chloroquine but you know chloroquine <laughs> so the administrator of that injection is not as important as the manufacturer of the product are you getting it now yes any doctor who has access uh i, I need to call something that we're well let's use chloroquine then forgive me i don't know if he's at work or not but let's just use it now once he is a doctor he can hold that syringe and give you the injection because the content of that liquid is more powerful than the doctor are we together there are times you can have many injections but they tell you that the drugs or the liquids are scarce for instance right now there are all kinds of vaccines they are trying to get across they are not getting injections it's easy to make injections local productions can have injections but the problem is the liquid is that true that's what people pay for what does this tell you that pay attention please words i was talking about the words of a man carrying the power of that man the words of a father carries the power of a father within the context of his home. Is that true? If a father stands and tells the children, stop, what happens? His words carry his power. But let the man stand just 100 meters outside of his house and shout the same stop. His words no longer carries power because he's not within the jurisdiction. You see that? There has to be another condition upon that man for his words to go that far for instance if he becomes a chairman of the local government then he can now stand the jurisdiction of his influence has increased the president of a nation can stand anywhere within the physical territory of his the geography of his authority and he can speak and it becomes law is that true no president can travel to another nation and speak there why because the condition there is a condition that governs his authority in this case the condition is jurisdiction when you understand this you will know how powerful the word of god is for you to know how powerful the word of god is you must know god because the word of god is a representation of the power of god it is god now speaking in your life question what condition can he not change Because medicine has done its best to create conditions. Agriculture, in fact, right now, I once watched a video one time where they were growing crops and yet they were not planted in the soil. This, this is a recent technology. They were growing, you know, but not planted in the earth. 
but in the crop's mind it is still in the earth because the scientist said what about the earth really makes the crops grow because it can be the sand and they were able to pick the the vital components and reproduce it and even without touching the earth the result started Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do, Jesus? The name above every other name, what can't you change? What can't you change? Hardest condition to change on earth is a sinner's condition this is what jesus himself said that is easier to say take up your bed and go than to say your sins be forgiven so whoever has the power to use words and change a sinner's state and a sinner's condition that person must be all powerful and jesus the son of the living god when he rose up from the dead he said all hail all authority in heaven and on earth is given to me not only power over death not only the power of life but the power to change conditions has been given to me he says go therefore go with that consciousness that you have received from me not just the power to give life alone not just the power over death but i give you power to change conditions as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven has come if you see any condition that does not look consistent with what i am saying remember that you have power through words to change that condition this is a miracle every condition is a function of time changing any condition is also a function of time if a doctor begins to treat you sometimes they can tell you you will take this treatment for six months is that true it will take six months for the condition to change other times three days other times five days how fast does the word of god change conditions let me tell you the word of god is quick and powerful sharper than any two-edged sword it's in your bible John chapter 1 verse 3. May your faith be fired up tonight. John 1 verse 3. Please give it to us media. John chapter 1 verse 3. Read it with me please. One to read. All things were made by him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If all things were made by him, it is also safe to say all things can be changed by him. Look at me, ladies and gentlemen. Have you had times where the manufacturers of cars recalled certain vehicles because they manufactured it and they discovered a default and they will honestly tell you from everywhere, Europe, America, Asia, they recall those vehicles because they manufactured it. You can only change what came out of you. Keep that scripture there all things how many things were made by him another expression it is him that created the conditions for everything to be made and without him that means outside of his influence was not anything made that was made please try to understand this all things were made by him your lungs your brain that part of your body that is being plagued by demons now it was made by him and the bible says outside of him if you ever see anything exist it was made by him if it was made by him it is safe to say it can be changed by him when you buy products if it's from the manufacturers there's something they have, they call it a warranty. Is that true? Usually it's a year or two. They give you a warranty that if you have patronized us or the authorized dealers, if for any reason there is a default in this product, you can bring it to the authorized dealer. All things were made by him. 
and without him was not anything made made there does not just mean physical creation all godly millionaires were made by him and without him was not anyone made all kingdom driven politicians were made by him all great families were made by him is that true if it is true that he's the maker of all things it means he also sustains the power to change anything now that is the part that is really really very powerful if God made what he could not change we're in trouble because there are certain conditions right now that if they do not change we'll be in trouble imagine if he made the sun alone and there was no night imagine if he made dry season alone look at the power of God in nature one moment we are dancing outside and even sleeping outside the next moment there is rain coming still on the same earth one moment the ground is hard the next moment you can literally dig it with your hand God reminds us even using nature that the maker is also the changer he can change men he can change conditions he can change seasons are we together now yes when you understand this you will no longer be afraid of explaining the supernatural can be explained even scientifically there is a dimension of it that may not be explained but basically you are introducing an energy into a life into a space that changes the state of that matter sickness is a medical attempt to describe the condition of an individual based on certain outcomes certain features is that true health is also the name given to a condition when we say you are healthy what do we mean it's a name that was invented to describe a state and a condition and the bible says the word of god sustains the power isaiah 55 let's start from verse 8 very powerful to 11. it says for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the lord verse 9 for as the heavens now watch this he's showing you the dynamics of how his word works it says for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts verse 10 for as the rain aha uh -huh, watch this now for as the rain that means you want to understand how my word works use geography study the rain for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither but watereth the earth and makes it to bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower watch this do you know what God is saying he's saying this water coming to you as rain has always existed in the clouds but not as water it's existed as what vapor when it goes up it condenses if you want it to come down what happens you will change the condition there it can't come down as vapor it only goes up as vapor water does not come down as vapor so if you want it to come down as vapor there is something you do to that water and it comes down and when it comes down it will now water the earth when it is done with its assignment does it still return you change the condition again and then it evaporates back he said that's how my word works verse 11 now so shall my word be that goeth forth it leaves heaven as something else but by the time it gets to the earth realm the holy ghost empowers it and it comes in a form so it is his word it may leave heaven as be healed but the moment it gets to your life the holy ghost holds it it's not just be healed that enters your body it enters your body and begins to search for anything that looks like sickness when it corrects it it will return back again because it will be sent again he's saying every word that i send does not return until it achieves the purpose for which i sent it
Remember what I taught you. Every man's word carries his power. A judge's words carries his power. A military man's words carries his power. A man in that word is the power to change conditions. Hmm. Conditions. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And then he says, what should I do that I may gain my sight? And he ministered and the centurion said, no, I know how these things work. I am a man under authority. I also have soldiers under me. You too, you are under authority. The words that you speak carry the authority of the kingdom. You reap. That same hour, the Bible says, at that same hour, the sick was healed. What then a miracle? It happened when the word of God, you see, if I speak by my strength as a man, you will not get zero results. There are some results you will get. For instance, so you, you won't get zero results. But the kind of miracle you are looking for now, the wisdom of men and the words of men cannot produce it. Are you seeing this now? Yes. So I'm like that syringe. Remember my syringe example now? Yes. The syringe does not really matter. You look at what is about to enter your body. This was not made by some earthly research institutes. No. It is the word that created the heavens and the earth. I hope you know that God is an expert with fixing things that are wrong. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 and 2. It says, now the earth was dark and void and formless. What state is worse than that? And the Spirit of God said, don't worry. We are used to this. We know what to do with this condition. The Spirit of God began to hover around. And then verse 3. And Elohim said, light be. What was the result? There was light. The first manifestation of the word of God and his power. If the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. And we didn't hear anything. It means we should begin to get afraid. It means there are some things. Now, you see why the Bible keep, kept emphasizing that everything he said, he saw. He said, he saw. You know why? So that you will trust the words and the power that backs that words. That when God says it, he will see it. That means whatever you want to see, it is your assignment to make God say it. Because if he says it, ending him, that he has said it. He has said it in his word. And he will make what he has to be celebrating here. Every deliverance, every breakthrough, it has already happened according to scripture. But we need to make it happen in our lives, in experience. And it is when we remind him of what was said. Then he now says it again by the Holy Ghost. Let it be. The spirit and the bride say come. Why should you be surprised that someone who came here confused with doors closed by next week returns back with all doors opening? Now you understand. Remember my teaching on conditions. Closed doors is a condition. It's not about the door. It's a condition. The door does not want to close or open. It does not care. If you lock it, it will obey you and remain closed. Is that true? How many of you have tried to close a door and it refused to close? Because something was wrong with the condition that keeps it locked. So you check it and oh, I made a mistake. And then you change the condition and the door obeys you. Everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient. Let me repeat. Everything that has disobeyed you is still obedient. You have not found the condition that makes it obedient. Everything, if resources disobey you, they have ever been obedient. Provided they came from God, disobedience cannot come from God. Everything needed for life and godliness that came from God is still obedient. Your assignment is to understand the condition that activates that obedience. This is the assignment of the word of God. And this is the assignment of that enforcer called the power of God. 
So as the word of God comes, I have taught you here that the assignment of the anointing, the energy, the power of God, the, the anointing of the Holy Spirit has no assignment if the word of God has not gone forth. Because the anointing is merely an enforcer and a confirmer. That means that if God says, let healing happen, the anointing moves to make what he said come to pass. Are we together now? This is why words are powerful. Look how I'm, listen, listen. This thing I'm teaching you is an office. I'm not just teaching you an information I learned somewhere. There are people sick right now as I'm talking. They are still feeling the pain. There are people oppressed. You wouldn't believe the kind of back, the, the truckload of demonic spirits oppressing people. They are hearing me as I'm talking now. I'm in the spirits now. And yet they will not go. Why? Because what I'm saying is not the word that sends them yet. You see. So when words now come. When words come. What do they do? The Holy Spirit rides on those words into your destiny and conditions start changing and sometimes the conditions change so fast i'm saying this so that you will believe if not you will not be able to receive anything apostle as it is right now i'm feeling this pain yes you are right because there is a condition that keeps it there but do you believe that with one word something comes into your body there's something called anesthesia. Is that true? And anesthesia, I, forgive me doctors, forgive me. Oh, the doctor is not here. Do you know that they can give someone that injection and in a moment you will not feel pain around that area again for some hours. Am I correct on that? What did the injection do? Thank you. But you know the pain will come later on. It's just that it's not needed for that time. If science can be that fast and accurate that you inject someone immediately and you can even be carrying out the surgical procedure and the person is looking at you, what happens when the word of God now comes into that system? Don't ask how will the eye condition go. Don't ask and don't think that this thing is some faking of. No. We are talking the word of God here. So you came as a whole family. Apostle, we don't even know what the. We don't know what is wrong with us. We just know that things are not working. Welcome. You are in the right place. You are in the right place. So when that word is sent, the word of God comes and starts looking at your entire family and with digital precision, okay, failure, disfavor, yokes, immediately, in seconds, it diagnoses it. But it does not stop there. It will start creating the conditions that makes those yokes and those causes to go. And the impact is so powerful. I am talking here and yet it will throw you physically on the ground. I didn't push you up. I'm here talking and something is happening in the realm of the spirit. And it comes like a plane landing on your destiny. Listen, I'm not just entertaining you. We are going to pray. But beloved people, listen. The supernatural is real. Conditions can change. Let me repeat myself. Conditions can change. When people reject you, they are not rejecting you. There is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you. When you are failing and fa he fails. Man of God, you may be in ministry no increase no results respectfully speaking there may be a condition but when god speaks 
he said let there be and there was he said let it change that's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies you think Joshua Selman in his power and strength is able to do this no 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 but I know this mighty God not only because he appeared to me I know when Jesus appeared to me I did not open the door for him to enter I don't even know how he entered the door is just for you he entered anyhow don't ask how it will, he will enter your body no the doctors will say lie down and they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you but the Holy Ghost oh come on please 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 when I ask you to lay your hands it's only a point of contact to help you not help God ask the Holy Ghost how he entered the womb of Mary he did not appear as bread and said eat and it's me no no ask the Holy Ghost how he entered back into Jesus to resurrect him back to life are you getting what I'm saying now now hear me please everyone I want you to look at the condition you have now because that is really what we have come to deal with we, you call it sickness you call it delay you call it failure you call it confusion God calls it conditions Abuja is a good land your territory is a good land but it does not mean you will just be blessed like that there is a condition you can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome what does it mean to encounter God it means to have an encounter that changes your conditions please find a way of believing what I'm telling you so you are sick apostle right now there is a situation I'm having HIV I'm having this you are right you are only describing a condition but watch the wonder working power not the word of a man not the word of a monarch not the word of a the military the word of God when it was time for Jesus to resurrect the dead he said Lazarus if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is Lazarus here you are the one come out I was sent to bring you out the powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name so if God speaks now and says so 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 person faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and God will honor it because what he says to one he says to all so you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name Lord just speak that's all I want let me hear what you are saying and let it dare relate to my situation I will not let that word pass me by listen when the word of God comes because I'm about to pray for you now you have a responsibility number one do not just think it is a man talking no no I am only the voice echoing that word that word is coming from the throne with fire with power with grace I may not know your conditions how do I stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions it does not make sense humanly it doesn't make sense scientifically but when the Holy Ghost takes over you see so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the Spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused God is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking Jesus here 
Benny Hinn calls the Holy Spirit the unlimited presence of Jesus. I believe in miracles. I believe that a condition you came with, you actually can leave it there. Yes. So when prayers are going on, don't just be looking at other people. If you are sick in your body, you must believe that I'm ready to be healed. You have some lump, some growth. Don't sit down and say, how will it disappear? I've taught you. It's just an interplay of energy and matter. It is true. Some terminal disease, HIV, whatever blood condition, maybe genotype, whatever it is. Don't say God cannot heal you. You're here, you have all kinds of bone conditions. Don't sit back and say, look at the size of my bone. Can I walk? Brothers and sisters, we are talking the Lord Jesus Christ here. Exalted as both Lord and Christ. How about impartations? Some of you are in their need of many graces. Graces that create new conditions. You cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you are a piece of rag. It means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame. And I'm telling you in the presence of God that condition can change. When you say it's my background, what you are simply saying is there is a condition. God can give you another condition. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens. For in the sanctuary, God. So, as a normal human being, you can hug, you can shake, you can greet. But when Jesus comes, you will be amazed. The same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again. When these words begin to come, please listen to me. I want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life. And what is it doing? Changing conditions. Changing conditions. And you check yourself and find out, just like a dream, is gone. Just like a dream. And there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain. But you believe at the instance of God's word. The power of God is touching that woman on purple. Help that woman. I'm seeing like oil being poured on her. Oh, madam, your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you. Jesus, the Son of God. Please pray strings for me. Take it high. Listen, I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman, T.L. Osborne. And I would see these people would just come with childlike faith, Reinhard Bonke. And when they would teach, they would tell you that Jesus is here. And you would think it's a joke. Within minutes, brothers and sisters, you will see all kinds of miracles. And I said, God, there has to be an explanation to this. Just like that. And then I learned that it is not just like that. When the anointing comes, when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen, women, look up please. You know what happens to that kitchen? As soon as fire, what happens? Sometimes the condition can be so harsh, it does not speak to you, but it will make you run out of that kitchen. So if you are a demon, for instance, when the fire is applied, And that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes 
just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of god moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the christ we have called this a miracle service and the bible says everything adam called it that was the name thereof when jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me i'm telling you i know the light entered